and she said she knew all along I was going to win this competition. Nah. And I was like, yeah, right. Nah. And she said, you no, not she mentioned said, this, Nick. Welcome back to Fine Watch Club Media. Welcome back to Fine Watch Club Media. Hello and welcome back to Fine Watch Club Media. Welcome back to Fine Watch Club Media. It's Speedy Tuesday, the 23rd of August. I'm here at Norwich Station, getting ready to meet Nick 002 to give him his very well-deserved Speedmaster Professional. I hope he, uh, I hope he recognises me. <laughs> there he is, competition oh, yeah. winner time. It's time to win a Speedmaster. Einstein said, Loosen up a bit, yeah. La 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 la. Welcome back to Fine Watch Club Media. It's Speedy Tuesday, the 23rd of August, and I'm delighted to say I have Nick002 with me, the winner of in the person. Speedmaster sent into space in person. He is real. We have never met Nick, just to confirm, no. other than when I just picked him up from the train station a moment ago. And I don't wear for my five either. And he don't wear for my five, thank goodness. <laughs> so first of all, what a pleasure to meet you. It's, and it's been a pleasure. What a pleasure to get that watch on your wrist. Just a little show to Cameron, maybe on this one as well. Uh, so, uh, Nick, let's take it back to your first watch of the video and how you then came to guessing the correct coordinates and then I suppose now arriving with us here at, uh, at Fine Watch Club HQ. Because well, I'm already interested in watches anyway and uh, I saw the video pop up on YouTube based on some of the other channels that I follow and I just thought, why is that? You know, I was, I was watching space, can't believe it. And I thought to myself, that's possibly a competition I can enter and I've got a chance, you know, like I've, I've got to try this, I've got to try it. And um, watching the video of it coming down, it's spinning around and I just worked out with the tree lines, the colour of the fields, the, the fact that there was a couple of trees in between. So it was a good idea to get this out at this time, yeah, I think. So, so. so as, it, as, it, as it was coming down from space, I could see um, this, this corner here, this sort of L shape, and also there was two trees here, one slightly bigger than the other, and, and I knew I was looking for a hedgerow of two trees followed by an outcrop of, of trees, and uh, I, I just deducted it was in that area, but as, as to, a bit of a guess as to which of the four squares it actually was, uh, but so me and my wife got to go heads together and said that was the best guess and just went for it and fingers crossed, um, never suspecting that I could, one, get it right. And <laughs> I, I said there'd have to be three miracles here, I'd have to guess it right, come out the, the first act, because so many people were in, the, were in the, the running, and then it's just lady luck at the end. I can't believe I, I won something. And the winner is... Nick 002. <laughs> Some sort of map reader? Are you uh, an astrophysicist? Uh, how no. have you, has it helped you guess the right um, coordinates? I guess um, I was like looking at maps. Um, my dad did because he was always like a, a railway nut, and he would always look at maps of torn up railway lines that don't exist anymore. And yeah, I guess yeah. I just picked up that kind of eye for detail and sort of you know building kits when I was a kid and yeah. things like that. So. Yeah, tremendous. a bit of an artistic street. So Absolutely I, tremendous. I figured I could work it out, but still a guess. Uh, Nick, you need to tell me, tell us more as well. We picked up a little bit when I when I gave the call to you, and I'm so pleased you answered first time because it was a real raw emotion phone call rather than, yeah, yeah. can we just do yeah. that again? Because I didn't really pick you up on microphone. Fine, fine, sir. Nick 002, you are a winner, sir. No way. <laughs> no way. Yes way. I've never won anything. Um, so tell us how, yeah, how it came around in terms of answering the phone and obviously saying the magic sentence, uh, which I'm so well, pleased uh, you did. <laughs> the phone rang and it did come up Norwich, uh, and I thought, oh my god, and as I said, Einstein said, <laughs> and um, you're a winner, and I, I couldn't believe it, honestly, shocked. Uh, I, I think that's I've the bit. Something. I was so Didn't pleased I? about it, so, you know, uh, yeah. you, you behaved exactly how I hoped you would, and, the, yeah. and exactly probably how I would behave, it's just re repeating no way, you know, it's that disbelief. Generally 
never not known you. I've only just seen the channel because it was linked to was it was, was Ashina Mali, yeah, yeah, the Tom Massage channel. Subscribed yeah. to him, so that this came up by chance, and I can't even believe it was local. You know, so brilliant. You know, fantastic. It couldn't have gone any better. Um, Nick, you mentioned on the phone as well when you when you did answer. I could obviously hear your wife in the background. She was very excited with you, um, but you said about she'd helped you to remember yeah, the, yeah, the magic so sentence. Obviously so. she was aware of the competition where we were finalists um, my, may get a call so she got basically some made for printed paper <laughs> and uh, marker pen and she said Einstein said Einstein said do a lot of stars on it and stuff <laughs> there was one in, one in the living room one in the kitchen <laughs> and one on the sofa where I sit and have my <sighs> coffee in the morning so um, yeah I couldn't, well, I couldn't, Tara, couldn't have got that wrong well so. done to you Tara as well I'm sure uh, Nick will share the wearing of the Speedmaster maybe yeah, a yeah. NATO strap perhaps uh. yeah I, I, I said I'll sort her out and it's I, I have done <laughs> it's a shared winning where did the the watch uh, the watch passion uh, start and uh, maybe where did it kind of come from to be honest I always like intricate things and things of, of good quality and detail um, but mainly because I'm a James Bond fan watching the movies learned what a Rolex Submariner was uh, obviously the new Daniel Craig era was my, my favorite yeah we were speaking um, about that yeah. you know that, that introduced Amiga so it's still the two brands that I, I like the most that I probably know about the most um, and uh, yeah just just wanting to get Speedmaster just because it's got the space link. I, I'm always interested in astronomy. Um, You've got a cat called Mars. Mars, yeah. So, <laughs> so does, does there's some synergy there. That I do like. It's uh, meant to be, Nick. I've, all, I've always been interested in, you know, reality. Um, you know, all the multi dimensions in space and, and things like that, sort of physics type things. So yeah, it's just the whole James Bond space thing. It's me all over. Yeah. Throwing the map, you know, reading. Honest to God, Nick, you you there couldn't you be a more deserving winner. My wife's kind of a believer in things like ghosts and that, and I'm not, I've yep. never seen anything, don't believe in ghosts, but she said that she's, she she's believes in like manifesting, and she said she knew all along I was going to win this competition. Nah! And I was like, yeah, right. More! And she said, you've no. not she mentioned said, this, Nick. She this said, is know, dark. This is Whoa. She, she said, I can see you going there, I can see you walking to the shop, I can see you putting it on your wrist, and I, I certainly couldn't. I was oh like, but, my lord. She says she's seen a ghost of a little, uh, a lady and a dog in her old house where she used to live with her mum, and I, I, honestly, I don't believe that, but. Well, I believe she's seen something. Yeah. There's some deep physics going on. Yeah, yeah. And you just don't know. Someone said is it um, all time exists all the time. Yeah. And the, the wow. past can affect the future. The future can affect the past. Wow, maybe. we're going on. Yeah. You know. We need you back in, Nick, for a further discussion on these yeah, points. Yeah. I think it's so I'm quite a deep thinker like that. <laughs> sort of go a bit off on a tangent yeah. sometimes. I like that, and I think yeah, yeah, it's interesting. I think you make your own luck sometimes in life with a competition like this. It is very much well. We'll just go for it. It's yeah. a free draw. If, the, if the you've prize not any, good, won anything yet, just keep going. Exactly. Yeah. Eventually things click. You know, Absolutely. Patience and not giving up is important. Absolutely. No, life, I, you know. I think that is uh, yeah. you know, true words to be spoken then. Yeah. Spoken to Nick off camera, we've asked him if he's gonna wear when he's sort of it's thinking about like daily. Yeah, it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be like daily. daily. So that is tremendous and, yeah. and what a great watch for uh, a daily wearer, a speedmaster professional. Uh, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. And, and thank you very much for the uh, opportunity and, and the idea of it. Our um, pleasure, Nick, our you pleasure. Know. You've been a very worthy uh, contestant and a very, very very worthy winner um, and I think yeah ultimately this is what we did it for we thought why not we, we need to venture out then obviously the links to space are so very important for the Amiga Speedmaster yeah. and I think yeah this one taking it up to the, to the dizzy heights uh, de decades of people's you know life really life's work yeah and, and toil and um, new technologies coming out absolutely and just put it all together absolutely so, it's unbelievable to win something and, and to have a unique timepiece with, with a, its own story behind it. So well, it's a, a, a fine watch club, one of a kind, uh, Speedmaster Professional, uh, Nick. And once again, I am so thrilled that you are the winner. I'm even more thrilled that you're here today and you're happy to be uh, doing a little piece in front of the camera because I think that just adds to our story. I'm looking forward to the uh, Explorer going off the top of Everest. <laughs> Nick's already trying to dig for another competition that we're going to be uh, doing because he's already thinking, well, my luck's up here. Well, the odds of me winning another one are astronomical. <laughs> <laughs> Quite literally, the odds of you winning yeah. another one are astronomical. Yeah. Uh, but stick around and stay tuned and maybe we will do something in the future that kind of links in uh, with what we did going into space with the Speedmaster. 
Um, but again, Nick, thank you very much. Thanks yeah. for being here. We're going to go get some lunch now and have a, a celebratory beer. Uh, Nick's been a true gentleman and bought us a lovely bottle of champagne as well to have, so we might even crack that open. And good luck to the channel. And uh, you, thank you're, you, mate. you're a great guy. Thank um, you, mate. You know, if I was buying a watch, I'd buy it from him. Oh, tremendous. So yeah, thanks again. Let's have a little shake to camera. Thank you. And uh, yeah. Good luck to all of you with the next one. Thank you. length of a second would mean little elsewhere in the universe. But it means everything to us. Because despite the vastness of space and the immensity of time, it's our way of understanding. <laughs>